Hey Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This is Brother John Tarot. Here to do your January 28th through the February 3rd messages. I don't have any channel messages for you, but I do know that Venus, Saturn, and Neptune are all in Aquarius right now. So, let's get straight into your reading. Hopefully y'all doing well out there. I know I'm doing pretty good. Get some messages for Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius right now? Okay, let's get some messages for Aquarius. cards we're gonna put all these back <laughs> the queen of pentacles the queen of wands the six of swords and the high priestess let's see i'm gonna do one more quick shuffle all right let's get one for aquarius all right the chariot card came out so it looks like you're moving somewhere or you're on the move or you're in your car driving somewhere. Uh, you and your your significant other possibly. Wow, look at the five of swords. So it looks like you're not going nowhere. <laughs> the king of pentacles and then the ace of cups and then the two of pentacles and then you have the king of wands and the temperance card. So a cycle, it looks like it's closing out or it's something that's coming to a head right now. I just feel like something is, isn't working out the way you wanted it to. Maybe you're having car trouble. Maybe you're having car trouble right now. Is Mercury still retrograde? I don't know if it is, but you know, Mercury retrograde can mess up your car, any, any electronics. Uh, it's not a good time to travel or make major plans or sign contracts or things like that. Um, this just gives me the energy of that. This gives me car trouble for some reason. Um, or just trouble in general. Trouble with your possible your mate or something like that. All right, I just saw the Eight of Swords. So possibly you're feeling trapped or something like that. But I feel like you can move. Um... Let's see. Let's see what I mean. Uh, not Aries. You could be dealing with Aries. Let's see what. Um, but the chariot is Cancer energy. Let's see what Aquarius's current energy is. Let's Aquarius. Aquarius's current energy. Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're leaving somebody behind. You're cutting something off. Something out here. Uh, or something cut off on you. <laughs> but I feel like. I feel like you're cutting things out of your life right now. Something is not, you have the truth about something or some clarity about something. Uh, the Empress. Yeah, maybe you're cutting off. Or maybe, maybe you lost, somebody lost a baby possibly. Or maybe it's... Uh, Wow, the Magician card. So I feel like you're manifesting a new mate. Somebody that you can travel with or something like that. Uh, the Ace of Wands. Yeah, somebody you can travel with. I feel like you're, you're, whatever you're manifesting, I feel like may, maybe you're not using the right words to manifest because there's some sort of uh, battle here. You got the five of swords. That's like stress, stress, worry, and anxiety almost. Um, yeah. Something could be stressful. Maybe it's stressful moving out and finding a roommate or something like that. Or it's stressful moving out and doing things on your own. But I feel like you're going to do it anyway. 
I also feel like you're writing things down. You're keeping a you're keeping a tablet of something or a checklist of some sort. Um, King of I mean Knight of Cups, and then the Ten of Cups, and the Six of Cups. Yes, yeah, so somebody from your past. Um, Four of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Death card. Wow, yes, yeah, so it's something that's totally over. I just feel like you're moving on. Uh, with your life it looks like you're you're on the move you're manifesting something brand new maybe a new home a new job a new place or all all the above right <laughs> let's see what is what is aquarius trying to manifest Aquarius manifesting here. Or what is Aquarius? All right, you have the three of coins and the five of staffs. So yeah, it looks like it's a battle here. So it looks like it's a something. You got two fives, so it's definitely a conflict here. Something is working with these people is 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 stressful or something like that. But I feel like it's good money. Or, I don't know, I just feel like it's something, something is very difficult here and stressful. Yeah, look at that, the Ten of Swords. And the Seven of Staffs, yeah. Something is definitely a struggle here. It's a battle dealing with these people, dealing with this lifestyle or something like that. Or maybe you're having car trouble. Like I said, something just, just won't work. Uh, the star card, the three of swords and the eight of cups and then the eight of coins and then the eight of stats, eight, eight, eight. Something to do with your communication or what you're manifesting or what you're working on. Uh, the High Priestess and the Page of Coins and the Six of Staffs. Yeah, it looks like you're you wanting you're wanting to move somewhere, but it seems like you're having car issues or something like that. Uh, maybe you don't have any gas, <laughs> or maybe you are trying to manifest a new car or, or a new situation or something like that. Uh, you have four majors here, so let's let's clarify those. You have four majors here. Let's see. Why is the uh, chariot here? Let's get one for the chariot. Why the chariot here? Seven of Coins. Yeah, something that you work towards or something that you put a lot of time and effort and energy into is the problem or something like that. Or something that, something. That's two seven. Seven of Coins and the seven up there. So, I don't know. You're reflecting. You're, you're doing a lot of uh, realization. You, maybe you've come to a realization like, dang, this is why this isn't working. Or this is... I don't know, something like that. Uh, let's get one for the Empress. The Four of Knives. Yeah, I feel like you just need your rest. Maybe you need to rest here. Maybe you need to, uh, maybe you want someone who is calm, who is relaxing, who who has like good energy or just who's uh, not so uptight, right? Let's see what the magic magician is here for. The queen of uh, three of knives. Something failed here. Maybe your manifestations, maybe you got what you wanted, but it's not what you want, you know, now. So I feel like you're looking back like, dang, this is what I asked for. And I got what I what I asked for, but it's still stressful. It's still not what I want or something like that. Uh, let's see. Let's get one for the star card. 
the father of sticks, which is the king of wands. See, it has something to do with some somebody you're currently with or something like that. Or maybe this is, uh, maybe you're in, a, in the fiery energy, like the energy of like your self image or something like that, or like getting getting yourself together. This gives me, look, fire and water. What does that create? Steam. I think that creates steam, fire and water, possibly. But I just feel like these two elements don't really match. So I feel like maybe you're with somebody that that you're that's not that's not that's not a match for you or something like that. Maybe you're trying to manifest somebody brand new. Hmm. Two of knives. You definitely have a choice to make. Mother of sticks and then the devil card. And then let's see. The higher font. And the Ace of Baskets and the Father of Knives. That's your energy. So I feel like maybe you're leaving some things out. You're cutting somebody off or you're cutting some things out of your life that just no longer serve you anymore, it seems like. I mean, that's good energy, right? Shit, some, some stuff we just don't need, you know? Or some things we could just do without, you know? So maybe this is that energy. Let's see. What's hidden here that Aquarius doesn't see? Wow, look at that. The Ace of Wands. This says, new project, inspiration, urge to create, willpower, desire, power, potential beginnings, new opportunities, and growth. Take action on your ideas. This is what you should definitely do. Get out there and get it. Take action. You got the Ace of Wands twice. Uh, underneath the deck, you have the, what's this? The Nine of Wands in reverse. Inner inner resources, struggle, overwhelmed, on edge, defensive, paranoia, exhaustion, fatigue, and lack of motivation. Yeah, something is draining here. Look at that, the, the ten, of, ten of Wands in reverse. Um, on top of the deck, you got the Six of Swords in reverse. Personal transition, resistance to change, unfinished business, emotional baggage, and delayed plans. Yeah, like I said, it's like you can't, it's like you want to move, but you can't right now. For some reason, I'm not really sure why you can't move. Maybe we should ask why. I'm not trying to be all up in your business, of course. You know why you can't move or the, the situation. Uh, whatever this is, it's stressful. And I feel like what you don't see is if you just stay in this situation, I feel like you'll be more stressed. This is an alphabet deck. Let's see. So. Uh, yeah, let's see. We have Y for yo-yo, which is my black magic and playing games card. Uh, let's see. We have Z for zipper, closing out chapters. All right, we got T for turtle, which is Aries Taurus energy. Uh, we have W for walrus. We have V for volcano, Taurus energy. This is a lot of uh, things. This is a lot of stress. Black magic, closing things out, something slow moving with this turtle. We got the volcano. Just talks about things blowing up or just getting out of control, right? Um... And then you have N for nose, which talks about nosy people. And then we have L for lion, which is Leo energy. So. This almost gives me the energy of. Uh, I don't know. Things happen in order or. Mm -hmm. It's some sort of order to this. I don't know. Something could be wavy or low, or these are just these. These are your letters. You just you decide what these mean to you. Um, let's see. All right, and we'll get an affirmation from this deck. Let's 
see. Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Maybe this is about your car or something like that. Or just losing, period, something. Guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Yeah. Cutting things off. Like, this is release. We have two Gs here. GG. <laughs> Guilt and grief. Let's see. What else? What else can we get out of here? All right. Failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. And then underneath the deck, it says, indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. So I feel like whatever you know, you, I feel like you know what you need to do. You need to use your intuition and be like, you know what? If I stay in this situation, it's not going to get any better. Or it's going to get worse or something like that. So I just feel like you need to go ahead and make your mind up. Uh, and don't look at things as a failure, as like you failed. It's just also, it's all a lesson here. That's all it is. It's, everything in life is a lesson. Everything is a test to me. So anyway, hopefully this helped y'all out, Aquarius. And good luck to y'all. I'll see y'all next time.